He's, 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 eating, he's eating me. He was chomping my bobber, dude. He got it. Come on. Oh my gosh. I barely have this any place bait. is legit. This place is legit. <coughs> you know, I barely have any bait, but I'm gonna throw it out there anyway. Look at this stuff. He's fat as hell. There's food in here, man. Look at, hey, look fat, at this. Look at this fish. There's food in here, man. Oh, he's chunked. He is absolutely, you can see the fire hook right there. These things, these things are fat. <laughs> Are you moving it's at all? It's big, man. It's big, it's decent. It's really decent. It's really big. Oh my God. I'm getting the net. What is going on here? Giant. What is it? <laughs> oh my what God, a it's like a drag. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I mean, these stock jaw are freaking tanks. They rip. Dude. They rip. Ripping. <laughs> he ain't never got egg bangs before. <laughs> How did that guy fight so yes. Oh, nice. Woo. Yeah. yeah, that's actually a really nice truck. Oh. <laughs> I mean, guys, listen, I'm sorry for laughing, but I know you guys are gonna laugh with me on these guys. We just caught 15 pound yellow eye. What were those things called? Red what? Short rakers. Short rakers that were 20 pounds, big halibut, big silvers. And this dude right here, he's happy catching anything. That's how fishing should be. You know, enjoy yourself. We're out here on Coal Mine Lakes Road. This is the last hour of our trip. Soon as it gets dark, we're done, unfortunately. Uh, we gotta head back to Fairbanks, catch a uh, flight out of here, but we wanted to come up to Coal Mine Lakes Road. This is Lost Lake. We've never fished this when we fished back down Lake about a decade ago. But these guys just got an itch to do a little bit more fishing. Hey, it's Alaska, everybody wants to go fishing. So we're gonna show you how easy it is to come here and catch some trout with your family, by yourself, whatever you wanna do, and have a great time. Thane just cast it out there, and he's gonna see if he can get one to bite as quickly as Jarrett got his to bite. But uh, what a great place. His float is right out here. Matter of fact, fish on. fish on. I mean, you guys saw that. We're gonna get two in the net here. Jarrett just unhooked his, and it another looks nice like one. another pretty good one. Yeah, they're fighting good. Mine was yanking drag. Like, this fish was pulling drag. on. bows are ready. Cold water, clear water. It's really cold water. Man. Yeah, they're fighting really hard. Seriously hard. There's two in the net. Oh, 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 get in there, buddy. These fish are obviously powered by coal. Working really hard, fighting good. Welcome just outside of Delta. Coal mine road, middle of nowhere, Alaska. Really nice rainbows. Look at this thing. <laughs> Is it that easy? It's that easy here. I mean, I'm surprised Jarrett hasn't got a bite yet, honestly. Another decent trout. They're yep. to the right a little bit, though. Are they? Oh. Nice. Another nice one. Huh? He's not that bad. I'll take really good-looking bow. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! A fish just ate my bobber at the same time I was getting bit, and I mean the one that missed my bobber looked like a savage, but this one's really good too. <laughs> I just sat shallow out in that deep water because they were eating my bobber, so I figured I'd just hang my egg high. Not a bad fish at all. Oh my gosh! Not bad at all. Another good one. Just nice fish here. Another good one. Check this fish out. It's getting dark here in Alaska, but you know what that means? It's basically midnight. <laughs> one premium. That's Ooh, all you need out here. Salmon egg? Yes. What size? I think it's a size 10 fire hook right there. You've got a size 10 fire hook. And we're just doing it simple like this, guys. Just one egg. It's all it needs out here. They're biting like piranhas, and we're just whipping it. I don't know, 30 feet off the bank. And he's got a larger float for a reason. He's trying to cast further simply because it's really shallow right here. And we're actually casting it into the wind a little bit so it helps get that just a little bit farther out there. Uh, I was at Coal Mine Lakes Road, I believe it was about 10 years ago. Um, me and old John Albridge came up here. He's over 50 now, so that tells you how, how long ago that was. And we called Fish and Game again, and we said, guys, listen, we want to go to a place where we can send people that is stocked that we can promote. And, and it's no secret to anybody. They said, you guys gotta go back to Coal Mine Lakes Road. Last time you guys hit Backbone, this time you guys should try Lost Lake. It's a little bit different lake. It's a really small lake. It's perfect for anybody, whether you're a first time angler or you've been fishing for 25 years, you've got amazing scenery, really good trout fishing. Fish on. And it, oh, oh, that was a really good one. Nice that that one. was a nicer fish. I mean, I'm salty about that one. It popped off? Yeah. 
He tried oh, no. to eat my phone. He broke me off. Oh my he god. He broke you off. Wow. That was a bigger fish than we thought. Now, we'll, we'll be really honest with you, and, and kudos to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game for this. But we thought we were going to catch nothing but nine and ten inch fish because that's what they stock in here. It says they only put in like 200 um, sets, somewhere around nine to ten inch fish. We haven't caught any of those small ones yet. We've caught fish up to 16 inches already, which shows you they're growing in here. Obviously, there's a good food source. You know, it's a shallow lake productivity, a lot of bug life. They're growing and they're waiting for you to come catch them. Nice one. Just stuck a good one. Nice Last one. one broke me off. One, one, one. No, just I got go ahead you. and double up, Jared. Try to double up. Okay. All right. That's a good fish. Nice. That's a really good fish. That's, that's redemption. Oh, nice fish, dude. Solid. Got a nice one. A little chunky, dude. Doing that again. Two in the net. Double, 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 double. They're not twins. Jared caught a stimpy one. Check it out, guys. We're hammering him here before dark. Awesome little rainbow. You saw Thane's bobber rig and the reason why we're fishing it that way. I'm running the same thing. I didn't have any premiums, so I went to gold label. Pretty similar bait, except it's got a lot of gold flakes. And I do like that. It flashes and sometimes the fish can key in on those flakes sinking in the water. And I've just been switching it up. I mean, we're getting low light. I've been putting two or three eggs on. Uh, when I do run two or three eggs though, it is nice to run a little bit bigger of a fire hook. I think that's a size 10 or 12, not the tiny 14. And what I do is I just hook it, one, slide it up, two, slide it up. And if I want to do three, I can. I'll just poke it right on the end there. And that's what it looks like. The hook's covered. Oh, this is epic. Oh, it's hustling. It's hustling. Hard fighting fish, too. It's so good, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It, that was a nice one. Fatty, Dang, man. tank, man. Another Fatty, man. good fish. Fatty. And they're all just really nice, really nice fish. Oh, he's got a Oh, giant. Got him. Instabop. I don't even know how big he is, but. He had me guessing he was a giant, but just another quality fish. A lot of rainbows in here. Yep, one of them. Oh, sharky, dude. Tank. That was ridiculous. He just ate your float, and then another guy came a by and ate of them your. Ate my float. And the other guy came by and I ate think, your premium egg. I think multiple ate my float. That's one of epic. That's one of the proudest epic. Good fish. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Beauty, man. So whatever the, the hatchery down in, I'm assuming Fairbanks is the one that stocks this, is doing, has done a great job. Because when I was here a decade ago, the fish were about one fourth the size of that. Either there's more food out here or they're stocking better fish, but it just shows you there's opportunity for you to catch respectable trout right here, just outside of Delta Junction. Whether you want to come up here and camp, whether you want to come up here and just fish and enjoy the scenery. I mean, take a look. There it is right there, folks. And that's a nice one, guys. That's what you can get. Beauty. Enjoy yep. that trout. Enjoy this amazing scenery right here. Can't go wrong. Coal Mine Lakes Road. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Alaska's interior, where we're on the road from Valdez to Fairbanks. We left Valdez midday. We've got a flight that goes home at 6 a.m. We decided to stop and fish our way back and look for some trout. So what do we do? We went to the ever so popular Coal Mine Lakes Road. Now we're an hour from Delta. This is the beautiful Delta River drainage you see in the distance. This here is Last Lake. I may have called it lost in the video. It's been a long day. It's almost dark. It's 11 o'clock at night. We still got to drive to Fairbanks from here, but these guys just can't get enough fishing. Now, this lake is real close to, if you look on a map, Back Down Lake, which we went to 10 years ago. Brody Lake is real close and Coal Mine Lake number five. Now, be honest, we wanted to go to number five. We just couldn't make it in the car that we had. It was too dangerous. The road was rough. We probably would have lost the bottom end or maybe scratched up the side pretty good. Remember, we're on mile 242 on the Richardson Highway and you have to go two miles on a pretty rough dirt road. So unless your car is not raised, I don't recommend bringing it here. Now, interesting thing about this place is 
The lake is only three acres. It's only 13 feet deep at its maximum depth, and if you're standing on a bank, you know how shallow it is right at the bank. Ironically, back in August of 2020, the state of Alaska did a research idea here, and they went out there and found that the average trout in this lake is 11 inches. They caught them in the nets up to 13.7 inches. It just shows you these fish grow pretty quickly here in the summer when the bug life is absolutely incredible. There's mosquitoes everywhere like there is everywhere in the interior. Now, interesting thing about it is the lake was first stocked in 1987. It's stocked every year with an ATV. They can't get the full stocking truck back in here, so they've got to make runs. Now, it was not stocked in 2022. However, when it was last stocked in 2021, they put 160 rainbow trout in here. Okay, they haven't stocked any Arctic char since 2008, and we're told they're not going to stock any more Arctic char here at all. The good news is the rainbow bite is good. And as you've seen from the guys here from the bank, you can catch as many rainbows as you want. We only stayed here probably 30 minutes, maybe an hour max from the time we parked the car. And these guys caught and released dozens of fish all on two baits today. Potsky premium salmon eggs and gold label salmon eggs all fished on those size 10 and 12 fire hooks that they like to use. It just shows you if you're in the coal mine lakes area, this road offers several lakes that are stocked, others on the Richardson Highway nearby that are stocked. It's a great resource for anglers that want to come up here and have a great time catching trout here in the interior. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Check it out, guys. Beautiful. They won't cooperate sometimes. Jesus, tough.